growing up. Was it always your dream to play college football? Yeah, it's, it's always been my dream. It's always something I've always wanted to do. Just playing, playing football at the highest level I could and hopefully making it to the next level. And you gotta see your older brother Jay do it. But for you, you got a, a different path. Yeah. Tell us what happened and, and how that, that came about. Recruiting didn't really jump off of me in high school because my, uh, my junior year had got hurt. I was kind of struggling playing, trying to recover. And so I, I had a pretty good season and, and then I just kind of realized like I could maybe try to walk on somewhere, but I kind of felt like I wanted to earn my own like scholarship. So uh, my brother just told me, just take the Juco route and if, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. The Juco route. I feel like it's a grind and you get one more chance. Yeah. Tell us what that grind looks like. The thing about the Juco grind is you got to really just hold yourself accountable a lot of times. Long days in the library, not really having any help, just kind of figured out for yourself. Long days working out, doing extra stuff that other guys aren't doing. You kind of got to figure out your own path and, and dedicate yourself to whatever you want to achieve. And all the same guys are going for the same goal. They all want to be recruited by the, you know, the big program or have someone see them. For you, it was Utah State, yeah. but you, you didn't end up there. Yeah. Can you tell us what happened there? Yeah, I kind of just slacked in school. I stopped going to classes and I just start, stopped really caring about school. And I was just out there having fun and just hanging out with friends and just not really being focused. And I, I lost my focus out there. And when I finally got the offer from Utah State and I tried to, and I committed, and I would try to send my transcripts in. They said uh, they weren't able to be taken because my grades had dropped too low. So you get that call from Utah State saying your grades are too low. What's the first thing you think about? First thing is probably how I disappointed my parents and how I feel like I really let them down and how I let a big opportunity like just slip through my fingers just because I wasn't focused. I went out there with a goal and I let other things affect it by me not you know, going to class and me not taking care of my grades and that stopped me from being able to be a Division One player. Would you say, uh, getting that call from Utah State, was that the turning point for you? Yeah, definitely. That, that the point where I realized that I let my dream kind of kind of slip past me, that kind of opened my eyes and made me realize that opportunities aren't guaranteed and not promised. So like, you got to seize it. You can't, you can't have any slip ups when stuff like that happens because right. you never know if you're going to get another one. I know too, you mentioned that, you know, something that really helped you during that time was your friend that brought you to a youth group. Mm -hmm. um, and you turned your, you know, turned some of your problems to faith. Mm -hmm. Walk me through that again. Uh, yeah, uh, one of my friends, he invited me to, to one of his churches out there. It was like a Wednesday night group. They were really welcoming and it really showed me like the embodiment of Christ and they really just showed me like that my problems, like he can handle all my problems and he can walk me through or get me through any situation I'm going through. So when I started going to that, I started going weekly and then started getting more uh, into the Bible and into the, the messages that they were giving. So that helped me out a lot. Was that kind of the first time that you know, faith became such a big part of your life? Yeah, I, I mean, growing up, I always went to church, but this is the first time like I was kind of on my own and it was really more of like just me and God. And I got to really, you know, lean on God and he helped me out through a lot. So not more than, an, I would say a year later, you're wearing an FBS jersey. Did you ever think that that was gonna happen? Right to the Liberty Defender, picked up by Ajayi. He could take it the distance, and he does. Touchdown, Flames! I always thought there was a chance. I always thought I had the ability to do it. I just needed the right opportunity and the right just time and everything to fit up and just me to, you know, take care of my business to get to that level. And I'm going to use the line that your brother said, that everyone takes a different path to get to the league. You know, for all the ups and downs and the path that you took, how do you think that you're a different man sitting here today than man that was sitting in Juco a couple years ago. Oh, I'm definitely, uh, I say I'm a lot more humble. I'm just realizing, being appreciative of the stuff I have. Like, I think Juco, it humbled me a lot. It definitely made me a lot more accountable for myself and it helped me like take responsibility for my actions too. And Liberty University is, is the school that gave you your chance. Yes. Now, how much did that mean to you? Um, it, meant, it meant a lot just because there's a lot of a lot of struggling, just trying to you know fix my GPA and get out of, out of JUCO. A lot of schools it wouldn't work just because stuff aren't, wasn't transferring right. And Liberty was just kind of like the perfect. Everything transferred over correctly, like everything was smooth. So it just felt like this was meant to be. You know, going through all the challenges you have, what kind of emotions do you feel when you run through that tunnel at Williams Stadium? I feel like there's no feeling like it. Running out with all the smoke and just hearing all the fans that really care and they're passionate about the team. Every time I don't take it for granted, I always take it in, breathe in the air, just enjoy the moment, live in the moment, just because it's not promised, you know. Not everybody can do this. There's thousands of kids who wish they were playing Division I football, so 
I really appreciate just going out there and playing, playing the game I love. Hey, I love y'all boys. Let's keep working. Let's get some more. Let's go, baby. Family on three. One, two, three.